your money. Well, technically, we're all wasting our money. However, do you wish that you would waste your money in a slightly smarter way? Well, that's why I'm here. The thing is, despite the fact that I trash on The Sims 4 maybe a bit more than I should, I genuinely think it's an amazing game. I really love this game. I wouldn't be a goddamn Sims channel if I hated the game. However, it just costs a bit too much money. I kind of just treat it like it's a little sister. I love her so much, but sometimes I just want to like <laughs> soccer in the face. The thing is, the game costs a lot of money, and the game is completely oversaturated with all these different packs. You have expansion packs, stuff packs, what well, was game packs, kits. <laughs> so deciding what to buy and what will be worth your money is kind of a hard thing to do because you don't actually know if the packs are good until you've bought them and played them. That's kind of how they get you. However, that's why I'm here. I'm going to go through all of the expansion packs and game packs, probably not stuff packs because I feel like that's more of a personalized thing. And I'll go through whether I think they're good or not and if they're worth your money. Obviously, these are all my personal opinions. If there's something in the packs that you think, oh, I'd love that and I hate it, just fuck and ignore me. Why are you listening to me? So, you know, if I have an opinion that's different than yours and I hate something that you like and you think is good but I think is bad, don't put a hate comment, okay? Save those for when the, you need to. Is this a good, good intro? intro? Anyway, let's just get into it. Also, before you leave a comment about my hair, I know. I know she looks amazing today. I hate these. He I know we're supposed to talk about Sims packs, but let me just. I hate these headphones because look how much volume I could be getting. But no, no, no. We're gonna put this on my head now. <laughs> so the first one is The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. Controversial opinion. I don't actually like cats and dogs. Um, I know a lot of people love their animal gameplay, especially if you're trying to make yourself and your family and you've got a pet and you want to stick them in there. And you know, people love it. I'm not gonna say don't buy it. However, However, personally, I never use it. I think the pets are really annoying. I love pets in real life, but in The Sims, I'm just kind of like, <laughs> it's got a nice town. It comes with Brindleton Bay, and the furniture is actually really, really nice if you're looking for more items and stuff. But personally, I would probably not have bought it if I didn't have to buy it, but it's there. I guess if you like pets, buy it. I know this isn't the hot take you wanted, but I, know, I don't really know how to address this one. The next one is The Sims 4 City Living. Um, Obviously, that comes with an entire entire city. It comes with a couple careers. I just, I'm not a big fan of the city when it first came out. It was like, <gasps> but it's not like it's Bridgeport. Or is it Bridgeport? What was it called in Sims 3? That was like a proper city. This one's kind of, eh, you get apartments, but I found living in them to be really annoying. However, I really love the aesthetic. I don't think gameplay wise, it's the best one to have. It's okay. It's just okay. It gets pretty boring after playing it for a little bit and you're like, okay, I've seen everything. I think the best thing is that it comes with different foods for your Sims. So it's not just generic, like you get Indian food, Filipino food, Japanese food, Chinese food, like you get a whole bunch of stuff, which I think should have been in the base game, but um, we're gonna move on now. The Sims 4 Discover University. <sighs> God, I didn't like this one and I don't know if I fully recommend this one. I feel like the university it, it leaves a lot to be desired. I just feel like it's very tedious. It's not very fun. It's very stressful. And if that's the type of gameplay that you like, then you know what? Go for it. If you're not already stressed in real life, why not just be stressed in The Sims by paying? How much is it? 34 pounds. Hey, give me 40 bucks. I'll make you more stressed. My issue with this one is that I feel like The Sims 4 in itself is already an easy game and the idea of going to university means that you're gonna further your sims chances of you know leveling up in their careers and stuff like that but I feel like that had more of a consequence in the sims 2 because the sims 2 it was actually quite difficult to level up and get far in a career before you just die and go kaput but in the sims 4 it's really easy to max out your careers and so going to university is kind of like <laughs> and you know you don't really get to experience the frat lifestyle you know the romanticized version Version of university. So it just kind of felt like a waste. I just had my sim crying and eating and going into rabbit holes and coming out and I know that's what university is so it's realistic but I just didn't find it to be that fun. The clothes are cute though. I just download some custom content. Jesus Christ. The next one is The Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle. I genuinely was surprised by this one. I absolutely loved it. When the trailer came out, I was like, what is this? I don't want this in my game. But you know, I just judged a book by its cover or by its poorly marketed trailer. I love the idea of Sims making a life for themselves and doing things that alter the world and change the world. And that's what happens in Eco Lifestyle. Not only do you get to change the environment and you know, you get to work together on 
projects because they're community projects. And also community voting is the worst thing ever. I hate it and I turn it off every time. It's just I don't want people coming into my house with bags over their heads and stealing my stuff. I know if you don't have eco lifestyle, that sounds really confusing, but <laughs> I hate it. I just feel like this added a lot more gameplay and a lot more things for your sims to actually do. Your sims get to craft more things and it's not like just going to an easel, paying a bit of money and painting. You actually have to gather resources, you have to recycle, you have to, wait, you turn things into bits or whatever and then you go to like a fabrication machine and go and then you make stuff. And it's cool and it's not, everything's not just given to you at once. You get to make candles and this goes really well with other packs too and the furniture is probably the nicest furniture in any of the packs or game packs or stuff packs or just packs. I could have just said packs, but I didn't. The clothing, however, I know this is a personal taste. I'm not saying that the clothing is ugly. However, <laughs> The next one is The Sims 4 Get Famous, and I love this one. This one was probably my favorite pack for a really long time. It probably still is. The reason I like this pack so much is because the gameplay is there. There's so much to do. There's a new interactive career, which is the acting career, and you actually go with your Sims to work and help them act. You have to get them to prepare, learn their lines, get to know their co-stars. You get the pros and the cons of being famous as well, so you recognize everywhere people are giving you brand deals. You can get into any career you want basically you make tons of money but then uh paparazzi attack you and people try to come into your house and steal your stuff and every time you do something it's on the news and then you turn into an asshole yeah your sims can literally like be so famous that they become an asshole like that's just a thing that happens and i love it i love the consequences i love the immersion of it and you can also be a youtuber you could be famous for basically anything the town however despite it being a very beautiful town it um leaves a a lot to be desired. There are barely any lots and I hate that and it feels like I was punched in the face but the gameplay makes up for it. So they just, it just, you know, they almost get it right and then they don't. The next one is The Sims 4 Get to Work. Hard pass. Thank you. I hate this one. I don't, I don't like it. We always say like, oh, I wish I could take my Sims to work and then you do and then it's awful. You just do tasks. It takes a lot of time to get promoted and it's just annoying and it's not very fun and a lot of it's really glitchy. You can open stores and run stores which I think is really fun however I would give this a pass to buy dine out and I'll talk about dine out later when we get to game packs but I don't think this one's worth it I don't even remember the build buy mode stuff so it must not be that good the next one is the sims 4 get together I love the world that this one comes with it comes with Windenburg I think it's a beautiful world it's the biggest world in the game so if you want a lot of extra lots go for it it's European based and I just think it's so beautiful and the lots are big so it's it's not just like a bunch of little tiny lots like you can do a lot with this you have the ability to make groups and personalize them to do any sort of activities that you want and when this first came out I was not very happy with it however later on I discovered you can do a lot of crazy things I've made swingers clubs I I've basically enslaved children to clean my house every single day I've made Bible clubs Bible study I've made all sorts of stuff and it's really good I really recommend it gameplay wise it's a little bit like like, like you can go partying, but when is watching The Sims party ever fun? So I just genuinely think this one is worth it for the world and the extra little thing of making clubs. I don't think that it's probably worth the full price. I'd wait till it's on sale, but it is good. It's good. The next one is The Sims 4 Island Living. Now, I feel like this one is extremely divisive in the community. You either hate it or you love it. I hate it. Sorry. If it's hot and sunny, get me the fuck away. I'm not going there. I don't feel like it added a lot of game play like you can swim in the ocean now fun and they did add mermaids however mermaids literally don't do anything it was a waste i don't know why they just need water and then they have a tail sometimes and that's it oh and they could talk to dolphins but okay uh. where's your secret lair where you fight crime and you know help spongebob out can i have that please but no but no obviously if you like the island aesthetic totally go for it it comes with a lot of really nice hairstyles a lot of hairstyles that are like more this textured which is 
sad that we have to pay for that, but you know, what are you gonna do? You wanna pay for inclusivity, right? The next one is The Sims 4 Seasons. I think this one's a given. I don't think it's a life simulator without weather. I can't believe that I had to pay for weather. I've had seasons since it came out. I can't imagine playing without it. I still think they shouldn't have charged for it, but you need it, basically. Um, you can have holidays, which I think are fun, and you can actually make holidays. It comes with a lot of good clothing. It comes with temperature. It kind of annoys me that you can't turn off. It's one of those things where if you want to turn off what it does, you have to uninstall it. But other than that, get it. You need it. The last one is The Sims 4 Snowy Escape. Now, when this first came out, I didn't really like it, and I feel like it's grown on me over time, but not enough to justify the price. Obviously, the world of Mount Kamarebi is gorgeous. However, the gameplay that comes with it is not necessarily life-changing. You can go sledding and snowboarding and it, you could watch animations. I think the best part is the mountain climbing. You can climb Mount Kamarebi and it's dangerous and it's difficult and uh, I think you can die. Like you could just fall and die. So I love that. I love that sort of uh, consequence. I mean, more ways for my Sims to die. Let's do it. You can also die by vending machine. So two deaths, I think it's worth the price. I, I don't think it's worth the price. Get it on sale though. And it comes with a lot of cute clothes and it pairs really well with seasons because you get more winter outerwear, but it's kind of a shame that, you know, they couldn't have just put it into one, whatever. So those are essentially my opinions on the expansion pack. I know it's hard to believe I don't like every single one of them, but you know, it's just my opinion. I tend to focus more on gameplay than I do aesthetics and clothing, but obviously you can look at the clothes and hair that come in the game if you go through Origin, and I think it shows you. Yeah, you can actually view all the items that come in the game, so you can double check if this is really what you wanna buy. But yeah, I'm basically just judging this off of how much I actually use these packs and how much I actually go back to them. But now we're gonna be looking at game packs. <laughs>